Hello everyone, welcome back to video lecture on OpenCV. In this video lecture, uh, we'll learn uh, how to detect and color object in an image. Uh, let us say uh, you want to detect and color a green color object in an image. How to de detect that particular green object? So this video lecture deals with detecting this uh, ob object detection, the color object detection in an image. So first straight away go to the algorithm. So I have created a flowchart for this particular uh, color object detection. First you have to read a uh, color object which is an BGR or RGB image. And then I will be converting it to HSV model. So if you want to know about uh, HSV model, so please go to my 7th video lecture. So once you have a HSV model, uh, you will be halving the image to increase the processing speed. So imagine this is my complete image which is of 512 cross 512 so the number of pixels that you have to deal is nearly 2.6 lakhs so if in case you haul the image so here is my hauled image uh, it is of 256 cross 256 so the number of pixel is just 65536 so it is nearly half of the uh, 2 lakh uh, 2.6 lakh uh, sorry uh, it's 1 by 4th of the 2.6 lakh so in this way you can increase the processing speed so if you are uh, working on the embedded devices, it's uh, very important to increase the speed of processing. So by halving, you won't uh, lose any information, but the only uh, speed is increased. So once you halve the image, get the black and white version of that particular image. You will be using the hue information, uh, like if you want to uh, detect the green colored object. So wherever the green colored objects are, uh, replace that particular object by uh, white and rest other uh, hue are converted to black so at the end of this operation you will be having a black and white image where black corresponds to the black ground and uh, white corresponds to the particular hue so once you are done with the uh, black and white image you need to do a small operation morphological operation known as opening so what is this opening opening is again uh, it has two more operations one is erosion and one is dilation so erosion is like uh, reducing the size of the uh, object in an image and dilation is inverse of the erosion which is increasing the size of the object so you take the image give it to erosion so erosion reduces the object in the image and the output of this erosion is given back to the dilation where again it uh, increases the size of the object so by doing this opening operation this morphological operation so you will get a clean boundary of the object or I can say you will get the smooth boundary of the objects or I can say you are removing the certain stray uh, pixels present in the boundary of the object so once you have done the opening operation you need to get the contour of that black and white image so how do you get the contour so here is the formula take the image and again subtract it from the eroded portion of the image so this erosion and this particular erosion operation is same but in the whole you are using two erosions one erosion is for getting the contour and one erosion is for uh, doing the opening operation so what is erosion here is my uh, black and white image with a black background and a white rectangular object so when you uh, erode it the size of this white color object will definitely reduce so to do that you are using one more matrix known as structuring element which is generally 5 cross 5 or 3 cross 3 or 7 cross 7 which is a odd numbered uh, row and column so you use this structuring element to push its all the size to uh, inwards you apply a equal pressure on all the sides from here from here from here and from here so because of that the structure the size of the object white color object reduces so this is what the eroded image is so next is our formula says take the image and er uh, subtract it from the eroded image so i take an image and i am taking the eroded portion of image and i am subtracting it so this is what the image that you get after subtracting which is a contour you can think uh, this subtraction process is similar to removing uh, this white portion of this size from this particular object so after uh, getting the contour 
uh, next process is double the size of the contour it is uh, to compensate the halving of this particular uh, step once you double it you will have this big image with the contour uh, and then add this contour to the original image so you will get uh, contour overlapped on your image so that shows you where the image of that particular color is so this is what our algorithm is so let us straight away go to our program now so here is my program it's nearly 200 line code so let me explain uh, line by line first let us run this program uh, let us see the output of it so here is my original image which has few objects with different colors and I want to detect this particular object the presence of this particular object so here is my the result uh, where the object is overlapped with the contour this black what you are seeing is the contour of this particular object and since we have a small small pink color object we have a uh, few more uh, contour uh, overlap with these small objects so this is what our result should be after compiling and uh, running this particular application so let's go back to the program uh, here I am reading an image uh, which is a colored image this one stands for colored image I am checking whether it is a valid image or not and I am displaying it and from here our actual algorithm starts so we need a contour of the image so I have written a function known as get contour image of object and I'm sending two variables one is RGB image that is RGB call and the contour this particular image so I'm uh, let me uh, let me see this what this function does so here is my get contour image when I expand it so it is taking two variables one is RGB image and a contour of that particular image right now the contour is not uh, empty image and since I'm considering a reference here the ampersand uh, here refers to the uh, reference of this those particular uh, objects or the mat so whatever you make a change in this particular function will definitely reflect back in the main so in this function again I am creating a one more matrix known as black and I'm calling one more function get black and white image of object so what it returns is a black and white portion of that particular image so I'm sending uh, this particular image whatever you are received in this particular function along with this particular variable so let me get back to that particular function get black and white image uh, image of object so here uh, I'm creating one more variable HSV and uh, using CVT color which is stands for converting color using that function I am converting my RGB color to HSV color and uh, you need to provide this particular uh, enumerated type to convert it to BGR to HSV so once you got HSV you need to haul the image so I am creating one more image known as small HSV and uh, using the resize function I am halving it so resize function takes the original image the hauled image and what should be the size? Size should be HSV calls by 2 and HSV rows by 2. So that is half of the rows and half of the columns. And uh, I'm releasing this particular variable. Since I'm not going to use this HSV variable anymore, so I have released it. It is just to uh, save the memory footprint. Next is uh, I need to have a H plane of this small HSV. So for that, uh, I need to first vectorize my whole small HSV so I'm creating a variable known as planes of vector data type uh, with mat and I'm splitting it split function splits this particular small HSV into uh, planes uh, three different planes of mat type so this is a variable planes and small HSV and then I'm creating this particular black image black images what you have sent here as a reference and till now it is declared but not created so I am creating the black uh, with uh, create function we are using uh, I am passing the parameters the row and the columns and along with its uh, type and I am first setting it to zero so right now the black image is completely uh, 
zeros in the sense you will get only the black image and next is a uh, for loop this for loop runs uh, through the throughout the rows and this for loop runs throughout the columns and i'm taking a pointer variable uh, which points to i row as i progresses this pointer also progresses to the each rows and i'm uh, reading one pixel value from each row and i'm checking whether the this particular t is less than uh, sorry greater than 165 and less than 171 this t corresponds to the hue value because i'm considering only the plane zero the plane zero stands for a uh, hue plane one stands for saturation and plane two stands for value so i'm checking uh, whether this hue is in uh, within 165 171 this 165 171 range corresponds to the pink the almost pink it is just by trial and error method um, if the color uh, if the hue is pink then i'm just uh, replacing the black image value by just 255 in the sense white so after this for loop wherever the hue is from 165 to 171 you will get white and rest of the portions are black because of this particular uh, statement so this function gives you the black and white image of that particular uh, object so let's go get back to the get counter of image so uh, the black image at this stage will have a black and white image where white corresponds to the hue of pink and uh, the black corresponds to the background or the rest of the image next is uh, opening has to be done so erode and dilate functions are there so before that i need uh, two variables one is black eroded and one is structuring element so structuring element is just a 5 cross 5 matrix i'm creating the 5 cross 5 matrix by using a function known as once in mat class so it returns an 5 cross 5 matrix with channel 1 and all are 8 bits so structuring element uh, is all all elements in structuring elements are 1 now and I'm using that structuring element to erode and dilate so let's see what this function does from the manual so here is my documentation go to img proc or image processing toolkit and uh, dilate and erode so dilate takes uh, input image and output image and one more is a, a kernel or structuring element and the anchoring point so if your image is of uh, sorry the structuring element is a 5 cross 5 the anchoring element will be at 2 comma 2 that is in the middle so uh, by default it minus 1 comma minus 1 corresponds to the middle of the uh, structuring element and number of iterations you want to do erosion so in this case one is enough and the border constant you want uh, you don't want to alter any borders and one more is border value the morphological default border value so leave as it is let the default value will be fine for us right now and next one more is erosion erosion is opposite of the dilation it takes again input image output image a kernel or structuring element anchoring point and all the rest remains the same to know more about this erosion and dilution, uh, di dilation which is morphological operations uh, you can just google or you can read a textbook from Rafael C. Gonzalez as you can see the black is a input image black eroded is a output image which, which stands for eroded part of this particular image and a structuring element that we have just created now and the anchoring points similar to dilation so this two operation tell uh, gives you the opening which is nothing but a smooth version of uh, the image and i'm copying this black eroded in this particular black uh, variable and after that uh, i'm creating one more structuring element uh, which is always uh, is, is also of 3 cross 3 matrix and all the values in that matrix is 1 and i'm eroding it as I mentioned the whole program has two erosions one erosion is for getting the contour and one erosion is for doing the opening so right now we have done with the opening and right now we are going for the uh, erosion for contour so I'm eroding that black eroded image again uh, 
but here the number of iterations is 2 not 1 here uh, we have given 1 1 as iteration here we have uh, the iteration is 2 the reason is I need a little thicker contour so if you want to have more and more thick contour you can erode it or the iteration number can be changed to 3 4 or so next I am releasing that structuring element as I am not going to use it anymore and next is I am creating one more uh, variable known as final black this final black is exactly the counter that we are looking for and I am using a subtract function of OpenCV where I am sending the my input image along with the eroded portion of the image and the output image is the contour and I am releasing all the variables uh, since we haul the image we need to resize it so again using resize function I'm giving this uh, contour which is a small contour and the final contour is in stored in the contour variable and the size is doubled by two times and CV intercubic the interpolation methods so this function resize function is already dealt in, uh, dealt in previous video lectures you can uh, see the previous video lectures so this is what our get contour image of object gives so once you got the contour so you have to add it to the original image so I return one more function add contour to original image and uh, I am sending RGB image and I am sending the contour and I am sending one more variable which is supposed to be the final variable and I am displaying that particular variable here so uh, let's go back and go back to this particular uh, function at contour uh, to original image so at contour to original image so it takes the reference of the in input image it takes the reference of the contour and it takes the reference of the final image again I am splitting it using split function so that I can access all the planes in this particular RGB color RGB call a uh, variable and I am uh, looping through uh, two loops are required so I am accessing pixel value in one particular plane and uh, here I am accessing the plane of contour uh, if the contour pixel is 250 or more than 250 it means it is a white pixel then at that particular pixel I am putting all zeros for B plane G plane and uh, R plane so by putting this zeros it means you are putting a black pixel in your main image So this for loops runs up to the RGB rows and RGB columns. So at last uh, you need to merge. It is again a compensating the split function. Uh, here we have split function. So once you are done with the adding. So at the end we will get an uh, object, a final object. Which looks like a black contour overlap with a pink object. and later I am displaying that final image so this is it about this uh, particular program so let me run it again so we have can see the black contour overlapped on a pink image uh, we have we got just the contour or we can got to know where the object is but we couldn't find the exact position so by, by just using some mathematical formulations you can get the centroid of this particular object I will not be dealing with that finding out the centroid so you can do by yourself um, here there are again a small pink objects are there but your interest is in only the bigger pink object so you need to remove this contours from this particular object so how to do that so that particular portion will be dealt in the next video lecture where we use a concept known as connected component analysis so that's it for this video lecture don't forget to like my video and don't forget to subscribe my video